Uh, greetings, my fourth grade students who might be staying home this week. I wanted to give you a little quick lesson about uh, what we're doing in school. Uh, first of all, we're starting on page eight with reading our notes on uh, our pieces, Two String Salsa and Le Torridor. Let's start with Two String Salsa. The first time you review Two String Salsa, I would point to the measures. Sorry about my finger, I got a burn the other day. D, D, rest, rest, A, A, rest, rest, D, D, A, A, D, D, rest, repeat, D, D, rest, rest, A, A, rest, rest, D, D, A, A, D, D, rest. The next thing to do is to play the piece uh, with your instrument. If you don't have your instrument, just sing along. Make sure violin and viola players that we're keeping our fingertips just like this. The straight wrist and our elbow is not touching anything, not our belly and not our thigh. Two string salsa, ready, go. D, D, rest, rest. A, A, rest, rest. By the way, I'm playing on a violin. If you're playing on a viola, your D string is the second string and your A string is the first string. But since this is a violin, A string, D string. Cello string is just like the viola, A string, D string. And of course, a bass is going to be uh, a lot different than this. The next piece we worked on was Le Toreador, which means the bullfighter. One, two, ready, go. D, 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 rest. D, D, A, rest. D, 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 rest. D, D, A, rest. D, 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 rest. D, D, A, rest. A, 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 D, repeat. D, 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 rest. D, D, A, rest. D, 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 rest. D, D, A, rest. D, 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 rest. D, D, A, rest. A, 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 D. The Toreador can be a very challenging piece because it's so long and it's easy for our eyes to get lost. It's important to practice that step of pointing to every note many times so we get used to letting our eyes follow the notes and the rests before we even start to play. The Toreador with the instrument. Remember, this is a violin. Violin and viola players keep your fingers on their tips. You should be seeing your fingernails just like this. Nice and short fingernails, too. Straight wrist. This is bad. Pizza delivery girl and boy. No, no, no. We play violin and viola. Nice straight wrist. Elbow up. Looking good. Here we start. La Toreador. One, two, ready, and. D, 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 rest. D, Toreador, it's time to move on to page 10. This week we introduced the G-string notes. On violin, it's a note that has to use special lines called ledger lines to be able to write the note since it's so low below the staff. Here is Vivaldi on G. G, sorry, one, two, ready, go. G, G, rest, rest. G, G, G. Rest. G, 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 rest. I skipped the repeat on Vivaldi on G, but you can do that twice. Here's playing Vivaldi on G. Ready, and G, G, rest, rest. G, 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 rest. G, 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 rest, rest. 
you can repeat this on your own. Remember, if you're a violin player, G is your biggest string. If you're a viola player, your G string's right here, and this is your C string. The next piece, two string reggae, goes between the G string and the D string. We already know the D string, so the new one is the G string. One, two, two string reggae. G, rest, G, rest, D, rest, D, rest, G, G, D, 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 rest, G, rest. Two string reggae with my instrument. G, rest. G rest, G rest, G rest, G G D D D rest, G rest. Repeat at your leisure. The next thing we did was to make sure that our bow was set up well. So first of all, we have to tighten our bow. If you're a violin and viola, you should be able to see my eyes in between the stick about a pencil width. Don't touch the hair, please. When we put our bow shape on the fingers. When we put our bow shape on the bow, our fingers stay up if it's a pinky finger, cover the dot ring finger, middle finger covers the silver, index finger sits on the rest, and then underneath is our thumb. It's got to have a bump in it. Here's a better underside picture. Now some people may feel the thumb needs to be here. That's a good starting place. When you get more comfortable, the thumb can go here, and here's one of my favorite ways to do the thumb. Let's see if you can get a better view there. Thumbnail touches the back. If you're a cello player, the pinky goes on the side. The thumb can go in the same place, on the bottom or inside. Let's try some bow warm ups. So index finger pumping up, middle finger pumping up, ring finger pumping up, pinky finger. Or if you're a violin and viola player, whoosh, whoosh, like that. Make sure your thumb stays nice and bent. We can do windshield wipers, elevators, rockets, circles on the ground, big circles, circles in front of us. We can be a unicorn, a narwhal, put our screw it almost anywhere, and then the bow clamp. This is a little bit tricky. No cheating and holding it underneath. Climb down with just your bow hand. After a while, it's almost like a caterpillar moving. It'll be so smooth. See how well you can find your bow shape. To practice our bow shape, pay attention to our pictures at the top of page 11, and then practice these rhythms. The N-O means number. It's an abbreviation. So rhythm number one, rhythm number two. And they all have corresponding tracks that play with them. In this piece and all the other four, the repeat signs actually go four full times. So not just twice, but three and four times all the way through. So you have plenty of time to practice the bow. Practice the bow on any string you choose. Here's some bow practice for you this week. How about our new string, G? When we play on the G string, our arm has to be high enough so that we can reach the G string and balance just on that one string. Here's rhythm number one. One, two, three, four. Rest, 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 rest. Rest, 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 rest. A couple of pointers for when we use the bow. Think of it like lanes on a highway. Right now I'm in the middle lane, and if I go too far one way, I've hit the guardrail. If I go the other way, I'm in the ditch. We gotta stay right in the center. And then the bow must be played perpendicular to the string, like a cross. This would be parallel to the string, that doesn't work. Perpendicular is like this. Or think about it like this. The bow is always going the same direction as the bridge, just like that. So a good bow sounds like this. And then a crooked bow might sound like this. And does that kind of thing. So keep it straight, even when you're up here, okay? Here's rhythm number two. I'm going to do this one on the D string. One, 
to rhythm number two. D, D, rest, 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 repeat, rest, 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 and on. Now I'll do rhythm number three. I'm going to put this on the A string. Any one of these could be played on any string that you choose. Here's rhythm number three on the A string. Notice how I've changed my bow level from the G string level to the D string level down to the A string level. One, two, rhythm number three, go. Rest, 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 rest. Good luck. Now, for all my fourth graders, the next thing less I'm going to introduce you to is setting the fingers so that we can start playing new notes on the string. And this will be introduced in page 12 and 14, but today I'm just going to show you here. So one of the big reasons why this wrist is straight and these fingers are just so, so I can see my fingertips instead of this, this is bad, this is good, this is bad, this is good. The reasons we're doing this is because that's exactly what I want my hand to look like when I start putting down fingers for notes, okay? So here's the exercise. I'm going to make a stop sign with my hand. I'm going to slide it to the nut. And I want you to notice right here that this crease is above the fingerboard. If it gets too low, we have trouble pressing notes. This is very bad looking. It stays just above the fingerboard, and then we can make our fingers square to the instrument. All right? So I'll introduce you to your first putting down the finger song. It goes. I'm a little monkey, put down your first finger. There's probably a tape right there too. Climbing up a fruit tree, put down my second finger. Climbing up so high to put down my third finger. Pick my pink banana, pink banana. I'm a little monkey, lift your third finger. Climbing down the fruit tree, lift your second finger. Climbing down from so high, lift your first finger to eat my pink banana. That's the monkey song, and that's how we put our fingers to the instrument, okay? If you're a cello player, we'll be putting our, our fingers this way, so excuse my shrunken cello. It, it, it shrunk in the wash. Don't wash your cello. So, monkey song for cellos. With a cello player, we have our thumb under our middle finger, and we have a wing to our cello play. Fried chicken wing, bad. Eagle wing, good. Here's the cello monkey song. I'm a little monkey, first finger on the tape. Climbing up a fruit tree, two and three go down at the same time. Climbing up to so high, pinky fingers last, to pick my pink banana, pink banana. Then we come down. I'm a little monkey, lift your pinky finger up. Climbing down the fruit tree, three and two, leave the string at the same time. Climbing down the, from so high, first finger lifts off the string to eat my purple banana. And that's the monkey song for cello. We will use our book to start putting down fingers, but one of the first pieces I like to teach students is the beginning of Twinkle Twinkle, and it only uses our first finger, which is probably the easiest one for most of us to press down. So we start on the D string, cross to the A string, and now on the first tape for every instrument, we put down our first finger and press firm in the string, and this note is B. We lift that first finger, and that's the beginning of Twinkle Twinkle. Here's the whole thing without any breaks. Mm -hmm. 